Well, we've been working on the lunch debt that's piled on North Carolina families this school year. Lunch debt topped over a million dollars statewide in just the first few months of the school year after Congress decided not to renew a pandemic era free lunch program. That amount of debt has only grown since then, and now parents are jumping to help with the burden. Two Iredell County moms have banded together to pay down more than $30,000 in student lunch debt at Iredell stateside schools, Statesville rather schools. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood has more on their effort and why the district says the donation is needed. These Iredell County moms have made it their mission to pay off thousands in student lunch debt at Iredell Statesville schools. You know, a kid can't learn if they have a, if they're hungry. Emily Carroll, who's deaf, says she had the idea first, and after meeting Jean Foster on Facebook, it took off. Emily posted a meme in a group that we're in together that said, go ahead and call a school and pay for the kids' lunch. They started with one school. Within an hour, we had raised over $2,000. Now they're working to help the whole district pay down more than $30,000 by starting a fundraiser online. Great news, Jada Jonas, a district spokesperson, says. We're thankful. After a pandemic pause on school lunch payments ended, leading to a surge in debt. Where we're seeing a lot of this gap is those that fall maybe just shy of where they would receive those meals at a reduced cost or even free. It's an issue seen around the country with a recent survey by the School Nutrition Association finding more than $19 million are owed at U.S. schools. Despite the debt, Jonas says they've been providing meals to all children. We're trying to make sure we're filling in the gaps where we can. Um, but again, this debt is something that, you know, is adding up. Carol says her kids don't even go to Iredell Statesville schools, but she wants to help where she can. So we be out to faith communities and friends. Yeah, neighbors will be down all kinds of cheaper active to donate. Kids are still eating, racking up a little bit of debt as we move toward the end of the year. So the hope is to take care of that. To donate, you can find the link on our website, WCNC.com. In Iredell County, Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte. And if you're having a challenge paying for your child's meals, you should contact the school district to see if you qualify for free or reduced lunch. Meanwhile, efforts go on to help reduce the current debt balance. Recently, Gastonia Church raised more than $13,000 to pay off student lunch debt in their area. And at the state level, some North Carolina lawmakers are working to pass a bill that would use over $3 million from the state's general fund to pay off owed payments. That bill is currently in a state house committee. No indication yet on whether it will clear both chambers and end up on the governor's desk.